As we discussed in section four of the guide, direct modeling tools can't be used on procedural meshes. If you want to use direct modeling tools, you'll need to freeze the procedural mesh. Moto offers a few options for freezing a mesh item that uses procedural mesh operations. And in this video, I'd like to quickly show a few of these options. If you right click on a procedural mesh item in the items list and choose the freeze command, all mesh operations will be applied and their operators removed. You'll no longer be able to edit any of their attributes, but the trade-off will be the ability to use direct modeling tools on the mesh. Instead of using the freeze command, I recommend using the duplicate and freeze command. This option creates a new mesh item that contains the results of the freeze command, but keeps the original procedural mesh item intact so you can still access the live mesh and all of its operators at a later time if needed. Another way of performing the same action is to simply select the geometry you'd like to work with, use the keyboard shortcut Control C to copy it to the clipboard, create a new mesh item, and then paste the geometry from the clipboard using the keyboard shortcut Control V. I prefer this method as I find it to be faster. It's also worth noting that you can freeze portions of a procedural stack to help consolidate it by right-clicking on an operator in the list and choosing Freeze. All previous operations will be applied to the base mesh and their operators removed from the stack. This can be a quick way to simplify your list if it gets heavy with many operators. Experiment with each of these options so that you can decide which will work best with your workflow.